So here's the deal, okay? I can smell a really strong odor of alcohol coming from the car, okay? I can smell it coming from your breath. That's why I asked how much you had to drink. Okay. You had a half a beer? Yeah. That's all you had to drink? That's all I had to, all I had to drink. At 8 o'clock, I had a bottle. I had a glass of wine. Okay, at 8 o'clock. What time do you think it is right now? It is 12.30. 12.30. Okay. Ready? Yep. Tell me when. Begin. 1,001. 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006. Look at your foot. 1,007, 1,008, 1,009. Point your toe forward so it's parallel. 1,011, 1,012, 1,013, 1014, 1017, 1018, 1019, 1020, 1021, 1021. All right, put your foot down. Okay, how long ago was your beer? I'd say about, what time is it now? One o'clock. One o'clock? I drank it at nine. At nine, okay. Here's the, you had more to drink than you're telling me. I had maybe a white claw more. Okay. I, I think you've had more than that. Bottom line is this, okay? You, you had more to drink than you're telling me, okay? I've been doing this for 22 years, okay? I know you've had more than a white claw and a beer. Okay, I can smell it coming from your breath, looking at your eyes, it's obvious that you've had more to drink than you're telling me. Okay, honesty goes a long ways with me, okay, and you're not being completely honest with me. I, I understand that you're young, I get that, but that's where we're at. I was... This is going to ruin my life. How much did you have to drink? I had a white claw and a glass of wine and a beer. At what time? I had it at, I had the beer, I mean no, I had the wine at 9 o'clock at my apartment. We came over here and then I had a beer and a white claw. And, and I'm a lightweight. When was the last time, when did you drink your white claw? I would say at about 11. Okay. Hello. 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 It's been audio and video recorded. Do you have your license registration insurance? I have my registration, I have my, um, license on my phone, if that's okay. You have your license on your phone? No, sorry, no, my registration. Hey, what's in your hand right there? Vape, alright. Where are you guys headed to? I'm so sorry. You're fine. How old's everybody in the car? I'm 20. She's 21. Okay. The reason I'm asking is I can smell the odor of alcohol. Yeah, I'm kind of a designated driver. You're kind of or you are? I am. Okay. Have you had any alcohol to drink? Um, I just had a half a beer. Okay. And how long ago was that? Uh, like an hour ago. Okay. How about driver's license? Do you have that? Yeah. Okay, and then you said your registration, you have a picture of that on your phone? Yeah. You don't have one in your glove box? I don't, I just came back from uh, the west side and I didn't print it out. Didn't print it out. Your registration's for your license plates, not your insurance. Yeah. Wait, my registration's in here and then... There you go. I'm sorry, I kind of this. I really didn't do that. Okay. You're 20? Yeah. Okay. Alright, keep looking for your insurance. I'll be right back with you. Okay, thank you. I think she's had more than a half a beer. Find your insurance? Yep, it's right here. Okay, perfect. Do me a favor, hop out and come back here for me. Yeah. Is there 
reason I got pulled over? Yep, the reason I stopped here when you came down Monroe Street and you turned on to Stadium Way, uh -huh. you can't cut all the way across the lanes. Oh. All right. Okay. Stand right there for me. Okay. Nope, turn around and face me. Okay, so here's the deal, okay? I can smell really strong odor of alcohol coming from the car, okay? I can smell it coming from your breath. That's why I asked how much you had to drink. Okay. You had a half a beer? Yeah. That's all you had to drink? That's I had a, all I had to drink. At 8 o'clock, I had a bottle. I had a glass of wine. Okay, at 8 o'clock. What yeah. time do you think it is right now? It is 12.30. 12.30. Okay, so here's the deal. I want to make sure that you're okay to drive. Okay. Okay, so I'd like you to do some voluntary field sobriety tests to make sure you're okay. okay. Yeah. Any problem with that? Yeah, no problem. Okay, perfect. So what I'm going to have you do, see right where my flashlight's at, go ahead and stand there, turn around and face me. Face me. Okay, what I want you to do, put your feet together like that and your hands down to your side, okay? This is going to be the starting position for each test unless I tell you otherwise, okay? Okay. You need to understand your ability to follow my instructions are just as important as completing the tests themselves, okay? Don't start any test until I'm done explaining the test, demonstrating the test, and then asking you to perform the test. Do you understand that? Okay. Okay, before we begin, do you have any physical defects, bad knee, bad ankle, anything like that? Um, I mean, I kind of, like, hurt my left knee at the gym. Okay, when was that? Like, a few weeks ago. Okay. Perfect. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to look at your eyes, okay? Okay. What I want you to do, do you see, nope, look right here. See the pen? Yep. All right, I want you to follow the pen with your eyes, and your eyes only, don't move your head, okay? Okay. Don't move your head, just follow with your eyes. Keep following with your eyes. Follow with your eyes. Do you see it okay? Yep. Okay, follow with your eyes. Okay, next test we're going to do is called the walk and turn test. What I want you to do, leave your left foot where it is. I want you to take your right foot, put it right in front of it, just like that. Go ahead and do that. Don't walk, don't go anywhere yet. Remember, don't start the test until I'm done explaining and demonstrating, okay? So left foot where it is, right foot right in front of it. Go ahead and do that. All right, stay in this position. Nope, go back to the where it was. So you're standing just like me. Left foot, take your right foot, put it in front. Right foot in front? Yep. Okay, don't begin yet. Remember, I'm going to explain it, I'm going to demonstrate it, and then I'm going to ask you to do it, okay? Okay. So left foot where it is. Left foot where it is. Right foot in front of it, right and stop, just it. like that. Don't move. All right, you're going to imagine a straight line. Okay, when I tell you to begin, you're going to take nine steps forward, touching heel to toe, counting each step out loud. You're going to keep okay. your arms down to your side, you're going to look down at your feet, and you're going to count those out loud. Do you understand that? Yep, so you said nine steps so, forward, right? Yep, so it's going to look like this. So your left foot's where it is, your right foot's in front. So it's going to be one, two, three, and so on until you get to nine. Okay. Once you get to your ninth step, step out with your back foot like this, make small steps around until you reach the other direction. You'll be facing that way. So once I make a, since I get to nine, I do a little circle. Yep, just like I showed you. And then you're going to take nine steps back, touching heel to toe, counting each step out loud again on that imaginary line. Do you okay, understand that, you test? Again, yep. I'm kind of okay. So your left foot's where it is. Your right foot's in front, right? Yep. You're on that imaginary line. So it's going to look like this: one, two, three, and so on until you get to nine. Okay. Once you get to your ninth step, step out with your back foot, small steps around, and then nine steps back. Okay. Do you and then I go backwards? Nope. You're going to walk forward again. Just like you did going this way, you're going to make your turn and you're going to take nine steps this way. Okay. Okay. Make sure you look down at your feet. Make sure you keep your arms down to your side. Make sure you count each step out loud. Okay. Do you understand? Yep. All right. Begin. One. Two. Out tested. Three. Just like I explained. What are you supposed to do? 
I look back at you. Okay. Go ahead and come back over here. Stand just like you were. Turn around, face me. Okay, this next test, so feet together like this, hands down your side. Okay, this test is called the one leg stand test. Okay, with the leg of your choice, you're gonna raise it six inches off the ground. You're gonna point your toe forward so your foot is parallel to the ground. Don't begin yet. You're gonna keep your arms down to your side, you're gonna look down at your foot, and you're gonna count by 1,000. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and so on, until I tell you to stop. Do you understand that? Yep. Okay, which leg are you going to raise up? My right leg. Your right leg. Okay. Ready? Yep. Tell me when. Begin. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006. Look at your foot. 1,007, 1,008, 1,009. Point your toe forward so it's parallel. 1012, 1013, 1014, 1015, 1017, 1018, 1019, 1020, 1021. All right, put your foot down. Okay, how long ago was your beer? I'd say about, what time is it now? One o'clock. One o'clock? I drank it at nine. At nine, okay. What this is is a voluntary portable breath test. This tells me how much alcohol you've had to drink. This test is not in lieu of the evidentiary breath test, which means it can't be used in court or anything so like that. So you said I don't have to take it? Nope, it's a voluntary test. What happens if I were not to voluntary take so it? So I'm going to base my decision on what I've seen so far and go from there. Here's the, you had more to drink than you're telling me. I had maybe a white claw more. Okay. I, I think you've had more than that. Um, I voluntarily choose not to. Okay, so right now you're under arrest. Actually, I'll take the breath. You want to take this? Okay. You understand? It's voluntary. You don't have to take it. I won't take it. But okay. if I, what happens if I... I just want to know what my options are. So you're under the age of 21. Okay. Which means you can't have alcohol above a 0.02. 0.02? Mm-hmm. So... What would happen if I were, let's say, to take a breathalyzer and I was a bit over that? Well, you can't be over that. And what happens if I were not to take the test? Then I'm going to base my decision on what I've seen so far. As I told you, you're under arrest. So I have to spend the night in jail? Well, that that's later to be determined. What would happen if I were to get under arrest? Well, it's a, an arrestable offense. Okay. Would it go on my permanent record? It can, yeah. That doesn't mean you're convicted of it. How much would the fees be? I, I don't know what the fines are. That's up to the courts. I, bottom line is this, okay? You, you had more to drink than you're telling me, okay? I've been doing this for 22 years, okay? I know you've had more than a white claw and a beer, okay? I can smell it coming from your breath, looking at your eyes. It's obvious that you've had more to drink than you're telling me, okay? Honesty goes a long ways with me, okay? And you're not being completely honest with me. I, I understand that you're young. I get that, but that's where we're at. How much did you have to drink? I had a white claw and a glass of wine and a beer. At what time? I had it at, I had the beer, I mean no, I had the wine at 9 o'clock at my apartment. We came over here and then I had a beer and a white claw. And, and I'm a lightweight. When was the last time, when did you drink your white claw? I would say at about 11. Okay. Okay, so that's where we're at, okay? So right now you are under arrest, okay? You're under arrest for being Can under the... Can I just the take the breathalyzer? No, we're, we're past that. Put your hands behind your back for me, okay? So right now you have the right to remain silent. You have the right to an attorney. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. You are being audio and video recorded, okay? Is there anybody in the car that hasn't been drinking? All right, we're just gonna go to the front of my car right here. Just to the front, we're gonna stand right in the front. Okay, listen up, okay? So you're under arrest for minor operating motor vehicle, being under 21 after consuming alcohol, okay? okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to the presence of an attorney during questioning. 
If you cannot afford an attorney, want to be appointed for your prior to questioning if you so desire. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not make any statements or answer any questions. Wait, what happens if you can't afford an attorney? You, you can have one appointed at no appointed cost. Appointed at mm -hmm. no cost? Mm -hmm. How do I do that? So if you want to talk to an attorney when we get to the police station, you can call and talk to an attorney and get okay. some legal advice, okay? Okay. Okay? So, uh, like you said, you wanted to take the portable breath test? You can take it now if you want to, but... Okay, perfect. So, nobody in the car is 21, right? Actually, it's two of them are. Two of them are, but they've all been drinking. Yeah, I'm the most sober out of, out of all of them. You're the most sober. Okay. So, she's going to search you and make sure you don't have any contraband on you. Do you have anything in your pocket you're not supposed to have? Nope. Okay. So, she's going to search you. And then you're going to have a seat in my car. And then, so your car... Do you want me to park it in the parking lot? I don't oh, want to yeah. tow it. I don't want to tow your car, okay? Yeah. So I can move it over there and then they can walk. Is it like a thing where I could just spend the night at the station and just like, what do you walk mean? home in the morning? We'll, we'll get to all that in a little bit. So she's going to search you. We're going to move my car in there. Yeah. Five. I have one in custody. DUI. Okay. So here's the deal. She's under arrest. She's had too much drink. She can't be driving. Okay. She's now 21. Huh? Yes. So how do we get involved? Well, does she have a cell phone? Yeah. All right. Grab her cell phone and I'll take it with me. Okay. Does she have a wallet? Um, I don't know if she bought it because she knew like we were gonna be like out tonight. Okay. Annabelle, do you have a wallet in here? It's not in here. Okay, just your license. I have your phone. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move the car because I don't want to tow the car, okay? So I'm going to move the car to the parking lot there. You guys can either walk, call Uber or something, okay? But don't make a dumb mistake and drive. If we get a ride there, can we get dropped home? So I work for the sheriff's office, which is in Colfax. Okay, she's going to go to the Pullman Police Department. She'll have the opportunity to take the breath test there. Okay, and then I'll decide what happens from there, okay? So, but can you call... You got pulled over when she turned off Monroe Street on a stadium way. She cut across all the lanes of traffic. She has to wear her glasses when she's driving because she really can't see in the dark. Okay. And I don't think she has them on. Okay. So that's probably a major thing. Like, I... Okay. That's the one who's playing the car. So, I'm going to move the car. You want me to move your car, right? Yes? Okay. I don't know if I fit in this little car. Also, can you call figure out? She'll have her phone, so she'll be able to call. She'll be able to call me? Oh, oh my gosh. You can take her glasses, too. Maybe that'll help when she's there. Sorry about this. It's all right. Holy cow. This car is tiny. How do I tell her to call us? She's going to call you. She will. She'll have her phone. She'll have her phone. She'll have her phone. I want to make sure she calls us though, not like... Well, she's in there because she's, she's going to call you guys. I know, but like, she has to know the thing to call us. Like, I'll just okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the keys. Okay. okay. But I'll leave it unlocked, and then just make sure you guys lock it. So are you guys going to call for an Uber, or... Yeah. We have a, we have a friend coming. I'm going to call Okay, has okay. your friend been drinking? No, no, no. Okay. Been so, okay. So do that, and then you guys can hang out here. Okay. And then... She has her phone, so she has her phone numbers. Okay? okay. All right, guys. Oh, my gosh. I can't get out now. Oh. You guys can stay in the car. Stay in here where it's warm, okay? Can you take her glasses with you so she can see? Does she normally wear them all the time? Yeah, she does. How could she, she see out of them? They're really dirty. Holy cow. Okay. Stay in the car, you guys. It's warm. Just call your ride in. We got a, we got a ride coming. Okay. Okay, then lock the car, okay? Thank you very much. Amy, just walk forward and I'll angle my car so she can get in. Quiet.
Oh, no, you can't. <laughs> Be clear, you're out, so you pull me to do a phone for the test. All five on David. Also on the plate, it's Charles Adam Robert 3182. So here. Huh? Just hanging on to it? Yeah, hang on to it. So your friends have a ride coming, okay? All has been updated. She has to pet Lily. Yeah. I want to pet Lily. Step to ball five, beginning mileage. Good. One, two, three, nine, zero, four. One, zero, seven. Step to call five. I'm out at Palm Equity. Any mileage? Call five. One, two, three, nine, zero, five. One, seven. Your site call has been updated. Straight ahead to the door with the yellow piece of paper on it. Get over. All right, hang out in this room for a sec. I'll be around and get you. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? if she's, because she's under 21, so if she's over 0.02, it's one thing, but if she's still over 0.08, then it's just regular DUI. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So they have to be, they can't, it's 0.02 to 0.07. All right, do you have a registration? That stuff, you can hang on to that.
All right, so bring you can bring her okay. in, and then have her face the counter. Take her cuffs off. So you got it. All right, I'm gonna All right, take your... Ah, you can leave that coat on, it's cold. All right, you're going to have to keep this chair right Okay, so the handcuffs are going to go back on you here in a little bit. Okay. And they're, they're going to be temporary, and the reason I'm going to put them back on there is so you can't touch your face, okay? Every time I tell somebody don't touch your face, they immediately touch your face, okay? I, I'm one of those people, I'm going to want to scratch it. <laughs> Okay, this is the same thing that I read out there. Okay, this is con your constitutional rights. This says you have the right to remain silent. You have the right at this time to an attorney. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to an attorney before answering any questions. You have the right to have an attorney present during the questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, want to be appointed for you without cost if you so desire. You can exercise these rights at any time. Do you understand each of these rights? I understand. Okay, so this is I have read or have had read to me the above explanation of my constitutional rights, and I understand those rights. Your signature there, if that is a true statement. What would happen if I didn't sign it? You don't have to sign it. I'll just write on refuse to sign. But and like it's I said, kind of like an admission to guilt, right? No, absolutely, it's not an admission to guilt. This is just saying you understand your constitutional rights. At no point am I going to ask you if you're guilty of something. Okay. So this says I understand my constitutional rights. I have decided not to exercise these rights at this time. Any statements made by me are made freely, voluntarily, and without threats or promises of any kind. So have I threatened you or promised you anything? No, you're good. Okay. Do you want to talk to an attorney? Is there like a free one? Mm -hmm. You can talk to a public defender. Do you want to do that? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to mark on here, attorney requested yes, and we're going to go in that room and I'm going to give you some privacy that you can talk to an attorney, okay? Nope, we're going right over here. Right into this door. This one right this here. This one? Yep. Okay. I'm directionally challenged. That's okay. So, have a seat in that chair. And we will... Do I just call one of these numbers? Nope, I gotta, I gotta call them. That one doesn't want to answer.
you think somebody can answer a phone. They're probably sleeping. Let's call them all twice. If we don't get somebody here, uh, got another number we can call. Hey, Steve, it's Sergeant Cooper. How are you this, this evening? I've made it. I called to everyone. Nobody answered till I got to you. <laughs> I have a subject under arrest for a DUI, and she'd like to talk to an attorney. So here she is. I'll step out of the room. This is Steve Martinick. Okay. He'll help you out, okay? Okay, thank you so much. Yep, just let me know when you're done, okay? okay. said she had the beer at like 11 and the white claw all right come on out have a seat okay, okay. did he answer all your questions yep all right really perfect. Mm -hmm. perfect he's a nice guy yeah he's really nice okay so I'm gonna read through this again okay because you talked to an attorney that's great that's your that's your right okay that's why we put you in touch with them okay so, again, this is your constitutional rights. This says you have the right to remain silent. You have the right at this time to an attorney. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to an attorney before answering any questions. You have the right to have an attorney present during the questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, want to be appointed for you without cost if you so desire. You can exercise these rights at any time. Do you understand each of those rights? When he says questioning, would that be like right now? N no. Okay. I, so this is just the, the paperwork just stuff. Like if yeah, anything. I'm not going to ask you any guilt-seeking questions or anything like that. Okay. You, you talk to an attorney, and, and I'm sure he told you don't answer any of their questions, right? Probably said, provide a breast sample, but don't answer any questions. Yeah. That's just my guess. 
Okay, so this says, I understand my constitutional rights. I've decided not to exercise these rights at this time. Any statements made by me are made freely, voluntarily, and without threats or promises of any kind. That's saying if you decided out of the blue you wanted to answer questions, it's not because I threatened you or promised you anything. And again, you don't have to sign it. I can mark on there, did not want to sign. It's up to you. I'll sign it. Okay. So signature right there. That's just saying if you decided to talk to me, that is without threats or promises of any kind. This next session, section is called the Implied Consent Warning for Breath. It says, warning, you're under arrest for RCW 4661-503, being under 21 years of age and driving or being an actual physical control of a motor vehicle after consuming alcohol or marijuana. Further, you're now being asked to submit to a test of your breath, which consists of two separate samples of your breath taken independently to determine alcohol concentration. You are now advised you have the right to refuse this breath test, and that if you refuse, A, your driver's license permit or privilege to drive will be revoked or denied by the Department of Licensing for at least one year, and your refusal to submit to this test may be used in a criminal trial. Two, you are further advised that if you submit to this breath test and the test is administered, your driver's license permit or privilege to drive will be suspended, revoked, or denied by the Department of Licensing for at least 90 days. If you are, A, age 21 or over, and the test indicates the alcohol concentration of your breath is 0 0.08 or more, or you're in violation of RCW 4661-502, driving under the influence, or RCW 4661-504, physical control of a vehicle under the influence, or B, under age 21, and the test indicates the alcohol concentration of your breath is 0 0.02 or more, or you're in violation of RCW 4661-502, driving under the influence, or RCW 4661-504, physical control of a vehicle under the influence. Three, if your driver's license permit or privilege to drive is suspended, revoked, or denied, you may be eligible to immediately apply for an ignition interlock driver's license. It says you have the right to additional tests administered by any qualified person of your own choosing. For those not driving a commercial motor vehicle at the time of arrest, if your driver's license is suspended or revoked, your commercial driver's license, if any, will be disqualified. This says I have read the above statements to the subject. I'm gonna sign my name here. This says I have read or I have had read to me the above statements. Is that true? Yep. Sign there. Okay, this says, will you now submit the breath test? If yes, mark yes, and initial next to it. If no, mark no, and initial next to that. My initial right here. Just initial, right okay. next to your box there. And then right there. And then, hold on. This oh, says, no, right. did the subject express any confusion regarding the implied consent? Are you confused about any of this? Nope, Okay. Makes sense. And then initial next to that. Okay, so remember I told you the handcuffs are going to go back on because you told me you're already a touchy person. So I'm going to put the handcuffs back on so you can't touch them out, okay? Can I touch okay? my hair one more Yep. Fix your hair, wipe your nose, whatever you got to do. Do you need a tissue or anything blow your nose, or are you good? I'm good. Okay. So I'm going to put them on, hands behind your back. It's going to be a little uncomfortable, but it's only going to be a short period of time, okay? It's going to be about 17 minutes, okay? Okay, is that comfy? Yep. Are you sure? All right, do you have any foreign substances in your mouth? Nope. All right, can you open your mouth up? Lift your tongue up. All right, perfect. Okay, 
So now we're going to wait about 16 minutes. Okay. So we can talk about whatever you want. What do you want to talk about? Are you a WSU student? I am. What are you studying? Biology. Oh, what do you want to be? A pharmacist. Okay. What year are you? Sophomore? Junior. Junior. And where? What school? Okay. Are you what? Here? What junior high did you go to? Um, no. Am I from like this area? Yeah. I've just been here a long time. I came here to go to school at WSU and just never left. Did you do Crim J? I did. Total waste of time. I know a lot of people that do that because they want to be like detectives. It, a general studies degree would have been the same thing. If you want to be like. Uh, chief or sheriff then the criminal justice is pretty good but if you want to be like just a, a street cop or a sergeant or a detective just general studies yeah i know people here like they complain about the cops but like i don't know i feel like you, you guys are really nice have like, i been nice to you yeah like yeah. i don't know i've never been pulled over before ever ever <sighs> this isn't the best first time to get pulled over but you know what i'll tell you this it's a bump in the road okay it's not the end of the world okay there's lots of alternatives so, um, you'll get through it, okay? Yeah, the guy on the phone was, the attorney was really nice. Yeah, he like, told me, he's like, it's, he's like, it's, like, it's still, it's still really bad, but like, it's not like. It's not the end of the world. It's not like you'll never get a job no, or something. No, not at all. There's cops and judges and attorneys and everybody else. Lots of people have been arrested. And it's, it's a, it's a life lesson. Have you ever been arrested? I have not. I never got caught. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, I've never been arrested. Uh, do you have any brothers or sisters? Yeah, I'm the oldest. You're the oldest of how many? Two brothers. Two brothers. Are they in high school still? One's in high school and the other one's in middle school. Okay. What do your parents do for work? My mom's... Oh. Right. <laughs> what? Let's talk about something different. What can we talk about? Do you like sports? Do you okay. like, what do you like to do? Oh no. <laughs> so stupid. I just like to hang out with my friends, I guess. Mm -hmm. I like to go shopping. Have you been to the new Target? What? Yeah, I have. <laughs> <laughs> I went when it opened. On opening day? Did it opened this year or last year? I got a new job recently at college. Pharmacist, do you want to move back to the other side of the mountains, or do you like yeah, over here? Yeah, I'll probably try and go to pharmacy school there. Uh, over on the coast. Yeah. Okay. I live in. Yeah, I like Poland and everything, but I what, don't think uh, I live here for like long term. That That's just me terrible. personally. What day did you come back over with the weather? Uh, I came back on Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. It's bad. That. So, I worked that weekend, and it was terrible. There were so many cars that crashed, and it was terrible. Yeah. So, Junior, so you really haven't seen a bad winter here yet. Not really, yeah, because of COVID and yeah. everything. Yeah. Did you stay here when you did uh, online classes, or did you go home? I was here. You were here? Yeah. I was in a sorority, so I couldn't, like, get out of my lease there. Uh oh. Well, who wants to go home and stay with mom and dad after you? Yeah, I kind of, I was, like, kind of like, oh, I guess that sucks. Yeah. Do you go home during the summertime? Yeah. I might stay a bit longer this year, though, because my lease ends in, like, Midway through, like to work the end of July, so I might just stay because I'm paying for it. So you live see. in the, the hills the, on Rand. That's the one on the left, right? Yeah, yeah. it's like it's the, pretty cool. the cool, the, the brand new one. Yeah. How much is rent there? It's six hundred a month per person. Per person, yeah. And how many rooms are there? Four rooms. I in live it? in a five person, oh, yeah. like including myself. Do so you know everybody that? Because um, does yours have like in the middle like a kitchen area? Or is yeah. it just like a big apartment? It's like you walk in, there's like a living room on the left, and then there's a kitchen. And then one of, yeah, there's one bedroom like on the lobby, kind of, you know, like on the first floor. But does each person kind of have like Each their person own has little... a bedroom and a bathroom. Oh. Okay. So it like, you have your own space, which like, and are really the, nice. Your roommates are all friends? Yeah, okay. they're all friends. Yeah. Have you had the same roommates since you've been here? Um, I met them all freshman year. Okay. Are they all in the same sorority? Um, one of them is, but the other one's not. What, what house are you in? Uh, I was in AP. Not anymore? I'm still in it, actually, but 
I'm like a junior, so I'm like, oh, I'm not that involved. Like, <laughs> probably not the best time to be repping, like, oh, yeah, I'm an AP. Yeah. You're like, there's a house with a girl. Yeah. 80 pie. 80 pie. 80 pie. <laughs> That's hey. like me and Star and Fry. We're all. If this guy is in this house, like. I'll be like, perhaps they're doing something. We're all a part of the Panalinic community. Yeah. Do you have a boyfriend here? No. No. Smart. <laughs> Concentrate on school. Well, for pharmacy, you gotta have probably really good grades to get into pharmacy school, right? Yeah, I didn't even go out. Yes, that's like. What, uh, what do you have to? So, what were your degree be? Bio, biology. I'm doing degree? biology, so I like, and then afterwards I would apply to like pharmacy school, but you can do like you see your, your prereqs here, but I kind of just want to come out with a degree. So, like, even if let's say for some reason I decide not to go to pharmacy school, I still have a degree. Something else to go. Yeah. All that. How long is uh, pharmacy school? Two years. Six years of school? But That's where I'm like. It pays really good though. Yeah, I'm a lot. I know. Uh, I'm like my parents and like their retirement plan. <laughs> my kid wants to be, my youngest wants to be a neurosurgeon. I'm thinking, who's going to pay for you to go to college? <laughs> be like us. Be like every other doctor who's never paid that money back. How much is it? cost to go to pharmacy school? It depends where you go. So I'll probably, I'd probably go in state because that's... Like UW? Do they have a pharmacy UW, school? UW? Right? I don't think I would probably get in. I might probably like WSC like Spokane. Oh, okay. That's where all the medical things are. And you'd have and to be in Spokane? Spokane's a shit Yeah. Board. That's where I'm like, oh. so I'm probably thinking Seattle U because it's in Seattle, but like... That's close to Ren. Yeah. So I'd still be at home. So. I might just like get my degree and then like work a few years and get like a like a real job and then save up and then go. Yeah. Are you paying for all your own college? No, my parents help me out. That that'd be nice though to get out and not have a bunch of student debt. That kills people. Yeah. Absolutely kills people. I don't but know you can't go on shopping sprees either. Yeah. <laughs> that also kills you. <laughs> Let's see, so we started this at 37, so are you good at math? It depends on time. Like, I, I usually need for, like, refreshers. Like, I just need to, I just have, if I have, like, the, like, formula or, like, what I need to do, I can solve it. But if it's some, like, off the top of my head, like, probably could not. If you gave me a work problem, I couldn't do it. How, so for a biology degree, you're taking a ton of science classes. Yeah. Science isn't... To me, science was very <laughs> exciting. It's boring. What other prereqs do you have to have for a biology degree? Physics, like oh, how. My God. And then I just, like, a bunch of, like, calc uh, not calculus, uh, biology classes. So, not a lot of math. It's honestly only stats and calculus, which I've already done with, so I never have to take math again, which is really nice. I mean, you have to count out pills. Right, so it's like one, two, three. but but you have to figure out like milligrams and stuff like that of, of what the person gets. Yeah, that's more of chemistry though, where you convert the. Because a doctor will prescribe. Yeah. But do they tell like how many like how many milligrams of a specific medication? Or is that I think they do. I feel like I've gone prescriptions and they have like I looked at the note and it's like something like milligrams of whatever. Or certain amounts, so like certain. I know uh, one of my kids' friends, his parents, they own four or five pharmacies in the Spokane Chini area. Oh, that's actually pretty, that's impressive. Yeah. If you sell their house, fine. <laughs> they make good money. They live in Oak? No, they live just inside Spokane County, but at their oh. house is huge. There's some nice parts of Spokane. There are. South Hill's really nice. Yeah, that's where my aunt lives. Just don't go to the bottom by like Lewis and Clark High School, that's a sketchy area. Yeah, that's, that's where one of my roommates is from. Spokane. I went to school there until sixth grade and then moved to the other side. So when we get ready to do this, so we have about oh, six minutes. When we get ready to do it, 
two breaths. So there'll be two breath tubes. You're just gonna take a deep breath, I'll take four through the tube. Out. out. Just like out. you're blowing up a balloon. So it'll be deep breath in, and then I want two exactly the same. Okay. So deep breath, you'll blow it through, I'll say keep going, keep going, keep going, and I'll tell you when to stop. And then uh, it'll turn out and then go from there. Okay. Okay. Uh, I told your friends that you could call them when we're all done. Okay. Okay. They called for a ride, so they made it, they know I'm safe. And then do you know where I parked your car? Yeah, at the teriyaki place. Go They also have really good pot stickers. I've been there before. Oh, there the fried rice. Mm -hmm. So do you know? So the, that place just sold it. The original owners was New Garden. I didn't know that. They oh. owned that one. So the the husband just passed away probably a year ago, and then they sold it. Oh, that's kind of sad. Did he die from COVID? No, no, he had cancer. That place. Every I've been here twenty since ninety five. And that was the very first Jenny's restaurant I ever went to. And that lady remembered me, the owner all still remembers me. From the very first time I went there, she could, she could re remember who I was. So if you like Chinese food, try, the, try New Garden. It's really good. Do you like living here? Yeah, I live outside of Pullman. So I live closer to Spokane. It's, it's a quiet, it's a good place to raise kids. It's like, like good in between. I live about 30 minutes from Spokane, so it's a good place. Like you go to like the store or something. That we go, we do everything in Spokane. It's a safe place to raise kids, and, and yeah, it's fairly safe for everybody. We don't have the, we don't have the same crime as we, you know, Spokane or Seattle or yeah, so that that places. Crime. Yeah, Seattle's turning, looks like Portland. Yeah. It's kind of a weird story, but I got a car. I bought my car for my cousin. I got a, it was like a 2002 uh, Toyota Corolla, I want to say, and I'm just bad with cars. And then it was in my driveway. I live at the bottom of a hill, and it got totaled from it, like a hit and run. It was a stolen car. Oh. And the kids, they had, they were all like drunk. They were all high. There was, and they just like ran out, and the cops never found them. And so called, you're out called, of the car. Yeah, you're out. They called 911. And they were, like, they came like 20 minutes later. And they're like, we can't really find them because the kids ran off. And we're like, we like had like, we, we like gave them the description of everything. They just couldn't find them. Um, that sucks because yeah. you probably didn't have full coverage insurance on it. Like an old car yeah. like that, yeah. Yeah, that sucks. I had my pickup stolen right before I left for college. Or no. It was the summer after my freshman year. Somebody stole my truck. I got it back and it was destroyed. Yeah, I didn't even like, I'm like, how do people even steal cars? Like Over there? Yeah. That's a common. It's by the port too. That's what everyone says. Like, oh, Honda Civic, the most mm -hmm. common stolen car. So do you, you don't live Fairwood. I have no idea where that is. So. It's like, it's technically like unincorporated King County, but. Okay. So here in a minute, I'm going to enter a bunch of information in this thing, and then we'll be ready to go. You can blow up a balloon, right? Kind of, yeah. There's lots of balloons in sorority land. Same concept. Deep breath in.
does seem like it's been 16 minutes that we've been talking. Should have gotten her a green collar so you guys could have matched instead of blue. She doesn't have it. It's a it's tan. Is it like tan Campbell? Kind of. Do they have to get like certain collars that match the uniform? No, just kind of whatever it is is cool. That's like she had a wazoo collar. <laughs> I just think you would have touched your face if you didn't have any handcuffs on. Like five times. Okay. Take a deep breath. Out right. Blow it tight, tight, stop. Boom. Perfect. Keep going, keep going, you're doing great. Keep going, 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 and stop. So it's going to go through its thing and then we're going to do that one more time, okay? Yep.
Alright. Just like the last one. Deep breath. Low tight tight style. Go, go, keep going, keep going, you're doing great. Keep going, 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 stop. What is current address? Don't answer that. I'm not supposed to ask you those questions. I forgot. I, I honestly don't really know. I think I know snow. I feel like it's all below point oh eight though. Okay, it's your first sample, is it 0.104? Mm -hmm. Second sample, 0 0.108, 0 0.105, 0 0.110. Okay, so you're over the, you're over the legal limit for a person over the age of 21. Okay, so you understand this? Do you understand the results? This is going to be your copy, okay? Okay. This is driver. This is the driver's request information, okay? Read through this from here all the way down to here. That explains what you can do if you want to request a uh, driver's hearing. Remember what we read through on here where it says you can immediately apply for an ignition interlock driver's license. So that's something that you can do. So my suggestion is this, okay? Mm -hmm. um, talk to an attorney. Give this to your attorney. Give this to your attorney. Okay? And they'll help you with what you need to do. Okay. Okay. So um, I'm going to mark on here. Driver's sharing request information is given to the person. I'm actually going to get the correct address. Step to Paul 5. 
So does it, the license revocation just start from right now? Or does it just start from when the case 60 is days. 60 days from today's date. Okay. Do you know what the address is? You were right. Okay. <laughs> so this is the address that they're going to mail any information, okay? The okay. court, then, Department of Licensing. Like anything I need to call or just like... So if you, if like it says in here, if you want to do this, just follow the information in there and that's and that's where you need to send this stuff to, okay? Okay. So this, uh, this says, notice of rights to a hearing. I've been given a written notice. My right to a hearing, including the steps required to obtain a hearing. I understand that the notice of suspension, revocation, or denial of license will be mailed to the address of record on file with the Department of Licensing. So make sure you put the correct address on here if you decide to send this in, okay? Okay. Because otherwise they're going to mail it to this address. Home address? Home address. Okay. Okay. So you would record, so... Get, put this one in so I get the current information. Correct. Okay. So I, I'm not telling you to do this or not do this. Right now? No, no. You, oh. don't, you don't need to right now. Um, Just in 60 days, right, though? No. So this one, I believe it's seven, it must be postmarked seven days of the date of arrest or within seven days of the date the notice was given. So you have seven days if you choose to do this. So there is a fee of $375 that you have to pay if you want to do this. You don't have to do this. What, so, would, what would this like? What would this really do? Would it just like send it all my information, my current address? No, no, no. This is the driver sharing request. So this says this oh, is your so notice. Oh, not get suspended. This is your notice that the Department of Licensing intend to suspend or revoke your driver's license. It says you have the right to request a hearing to contest the suspension. So this is a hearing that you can you can file this and you can contest your driver's license being suspended. That's what this is. If you, if you want to do it, then you send the completed form and a check or money order to the Department of Licensing right there. And if you have Washington State driver's license, valid MasterCard, you can do it, pay it that way. Uh, there is financial assistance that you can do. That's if you choose to do this. So this is any, so it's 30 days, sorry. Any license in your position is only valid for 30 days from the date of this arrest. So 30 days from today. So... The 15th of February, it expires. your license is suspended. And then if you get pulled over, you'll get arrested for driving with a suspended license, okay? okay? It used to be 60 days. Oh, they shortened it. They shortened it. So that's yours. Your and signature. Just, if I were to turn it, it'd be due in seven days. If, if you decide to do that. Okay. So you, you're going to have court on Monday. You Monday? have to go to court what on time Monday. Would it be at? Uh, I think it's at 10 o'clock. So here, here's the other one, okay? My, my rule is. If you're arrested for DUI and you blow over the legal limit, you get booked in jail. Okay? I will let you call your roommates. It's five hundred dollars or a bail bondsman to bond out of jail. And it's just it's just only one night in jail though, right? You, well, you would be there until Monday if you didn't post bond. So if right you, now? If you post bail, so it's in Colfax. That's where I work at, it was Colfax, not the Pullman Police Department. So if you have do you have five hundred dollars on your debit card or a credit card, you can use that to bail out. Or your roommates can all come up with money and pay cash to get you out, or you can do bail bondsman. So you're saying I kind of have to pay with my card or, like, ask for money? Yeah. Or I'm here till Monday? You, you would be in Colfax till Monday, yeah. I do have my card with me. Okay. Um, and then your roommates, whoever comes to get you, they need can to make sure. I just walk home? Well, no, you can't. You can't walk home. Colfax a long way. And Colfax a long ways away. Oh, so I have to go to Col Colfax. You have to go to Colfax. And I'd be in there till Monday. Mm -hmm. Your roommates will come get you, I guarantee you. Yeah, they feel like... Okay, so your signature, that says I gave you that information and explain the steps that are required. And the date, the fifteenth. Do you want to? Do you want to call one of them that was in the car with you? Yeah. Okay. 
do shit so far. Yeah. Surprise. So it's just the Colfax one? The Colfax, okay. the Sheriff's Office. Okay. Or the Whitman County Jail. I'll give you the address. Yeah, can you pick me up from the Colfax, what is it? From the jail. Jail? So. Oh, okay. Do you want me to explain it to him? If you don't mind, yeah. Okay. Who, who'd you call? I called Emma, my friend Emma. Okay. Hi, Emma. Hi. Hi, this is Sergeant Cooper, the Sheriff's Office. Were you one of them in the car? Were you in? Were, yes. Were you in the car with her? Okay. So here's the deal. If you guys come to Colfax, whoever is coming, they cannot have any alcohol in their system. Okay. Okay. So make sure you have a sober person. The other, the other thing is, it's her bail is five hundred dollars. Okay. So uh, it'll probably. You told them I'm paying the bill. She says she's got the money to bail out. It'll probably take till about four o'clock before she'll be able to get out. Okay, that's fine. Can we come and bail her out right now? No, it'll be about 4, four o'clock oh, in the morning. So yep. Yep, okay. but, but Colfax. Okay. okay, we will be there and we will be sober and we'll have Okay, to and then and just, again? yep, so when you get to the, when you get to Colfax, just put in the Whitman County Jail. The address is 411 North Mill Street. Okay. And that, Yep, I'll let you talk to her. So when you okay. just put that in your GPS, and when you get there, just go to the front doors, push the button, they'll let you hang out in the lobby until she's released. But like I said, it'll take me probably 30 minutes to get her there, and I got some paperwork to do there. They'll have to book her in, and then she'll be able to post bond, okay? Okay. All right, here, here she is. Her what? Her card. Oh, yeah, you, don't have, you didn't have any cards with you. I had my Chase card. It your was phone in wasn't in your... Your phone wasn't in your case. It wasn't in my case? No, your phone wasn't in your case. It wasn't in my, like, my phone. Oh, because I took it out to my car. Um, Is there any way I could get back? And I can go. It? We can. I can drive It's you. a chase. It's a We're good. We're good. I'll take you by it. Thank you so much. That's fine. Okay, talk to her. Okay, so I have, I have money on my car. I should be fine right now. Um, it doesn't, I, I talked to like the free and journey and everything and it's, it's not that, I mean it's bad, but like it's not that bad. No, I, I'm just going to put it, I have, just, just be there at 4 a.m. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we'll talk then. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Love you too. Bye. All right. So give your phone to her. Yeah, I'm gonna put handcuffs. I'm gonna put them in the front. Okay. I'll put them in the front. Put your hands up front. Oh. Just like this. Nope. There you go. No, nope. like this. this. Stop. Right there. Right there. Okay. Thumbs touching. Yes. out of those. You're not going to run from me, right? I don't know. Just <laughs> okay, go to that door. We're going to push right through and you're going to hang out there. Come around again. This one. This one? There you go. She's got tiny hands. She was pleasant. She was super nice. They're always nice with me. No, don't take the one right under you. Are you guys on for another couple of hours or? No, no by the time I book her, it'll be about time to go home. The other guy stopping cars in Pullman? Who? Which one? No, they're eating nine nine here with her. Nine and, uh, or nine. Chris and. Uh, Olin and. Uh, I haven't seen Chris yet. Six and now, but... All right. They were way up in Tico, so... Yeah, Thank you.
Alright, so we'll go to her car and get her credit card for her, since we're nice. Doing all right? Like, like I told you, it's a bump in the road, okay? Same as your the attorney told you. It's a bump. You'll get you'll get through it, okay? And my report, you were cooperative with me, you were pleasant. Okay? Everybody makes mistakes. It's <laughs> I get it. Well, you can you, you can be sad back here with the dog and she'll bark at you a little bit. Just don't fall. I really like dogs. She's super friendly. I kind of wish I could <laughs> <laughs> Step to Paul 5B, clear Paul Monkey, and route to the jail with one. The game out of the center. Oh. Well, that's fine. Go get her. You have her keys? Yes. Alright, we'll go get your debit card, okay? Okay. Hopefully, your friends didn't take it out. Okay. Almost looks like you're ready for a new card. That one looks beat up. No, your card. Holy cow. I think I get a new one like every year because I break it. Watch your step, it's kind of slick. Alright, we're going to go straight up that ramp. So, do you want the ticket for no mask now or later? I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Do you really have one? Yeah, I'll put it on. You're fine. No. Okay, yeah. Alright, so they're going to ask you a bunch of questions and then just stay right here. Introduction of contraband such as controlled substances, alcohol, marijuana, 
of antioxidants. Cell phones, our electronics and high pressure facilities are going for no mess. We see that as you confirm our progress for introduction of contraband and high pressure facility if you honestly and accurately provide information about any contraband before and your booking area. Did you understand what I wrote to it? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Alright, last question, what's that you ready? Uh, size seven. Okay. I'll make sure this one one. Is that you pronounce your last name? Is it just us or? Uh, it's us. Okay, thank you. Alright, just face the counter right? Oh, yeah, face the counter. Alright, I'll take one of the cuffs for you. Just keep them to your side as soon as it gets released. She's been super cooperative, so. Appreciate it because that does also go a long way. And she does have somebody. That's going to come bail her out, she says. Okay. So first you go. Yeah. Okay, perfect. I told him like 4 o'clock okay. would be about a good time to show up here. Yeah, that would be for us. We could just end the cooks up. So. Okay. All right. So I'll have you take your jacket off and just head in the for me. Get it all back. Yeah. So it's, we just have to have it. You can, like, the wristbands and everything, you can just leave them in the thing. We'll just get them later. As long as yeah. Like that. Okay. To go to that shots fired call. Yeah. Uh, Williams is leaving Tuesday. That's yeah. so good. He he needs to. Yeah. I, f I feel bad for that guy. I do too. He's Chapman and Jim. This is not where he belongs. He yeah. needs he needs help and hopefully gets it. Yeah. He's it's struggling. Just, yeah, it's just been unfortunate because we've had a lot of Poland people. Because we just if he, I don't know if you read that call earlier the guy that was at the hospital. Well, Tonight? Yeah, there was a guy that thought he saw a gun. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did they bring him? No, oh. thankfully. I thought they were. For a second. Has he calmed down a little bit? I still wouldn't let him out of there. <laughs> and he, you know what? He doesn't know. He has no idea what he's doing. So I'm taking some caution, but hopefully we get so since it's going to be close. How do you get him in the car? Is that important? Put him through the thing and cuff him. Yeah. And then we would just, just as you guys here, we would just walk with you guys to the car so we got as many people as possible. 
Does he know he's going to Eastern? At some point, I don't know if it's Tuesday because I don't think we've told him yet just because we don't really want to get hopes up or something messed up. Well, if it doesn't, he's going to walk out of here. Yeah, I mean, 14 days. And we also have to, we already have the charges dropped, but then we also have the same court order that says keep them until you get them to Eastern. Right, Annabelle, are you done in there or are you still changing? Okay. Okay. She what? Okay. Oh. Break the seal. I know you guys don't have much room, but yeah. I book every okay. DUI. Yeah, no. I mean, that's fine. We actually have, you just filled up yellow. She will be. Yeah. She'll be out of here by yeah. four. That's what. Yeah, After, so. Here's why my DUIs all get booked. I've had two. I had one that left here and broke cylinder, uh, cylinder block, what? A uh, cinder block over somebody's head. After he left here from sight and release, and another one walking up the middle of Buck Canyon on the highway and almost got hit by a car. So I, I don't want to get sued. Yeah, so here's what we do. We're going to go into that room with the uh, light on. To me, do you need me to stick around? Uh, just until she's done okay. glasses in. Annabelle, good luck to you, okay? Remember, it's a bump in the road, okay? 